but let's talk about psychedelics and psychosis for a second. Um, so the misconception, and this is not the, the person asking this question doesn't have it, but a misconception is psychedelics cause psychosis or schizophrenia. Um, and that generally, I think, by the psychiatric community is rejected, this idea. One way, one way to look at this, again, has its limitations. Looking at epidemiological data, the rates of uh, diagnoses of psychotic disorders can vary over, no, it stays stable over time. But the rates of psychedelic use over the decades uh, has, has shifted, changed. And again, there could be other variables, but you, that, that kind of, if you saw a dramatic increase in psychedelic use, you would think that the respective number of diagnoses in psych uh, psychotic disorders to be, um, reflect that. Now, where I do think, and I think what is accepted by the psychiatric community, is that if we think about the diathesis stress model, or essentially thinking about a psychedelic as a uh, intense experience, uh, a destabilizing experience potentially, for a person who has the genetic predisposition uh, and the environmental um, kind of uh, contributors, uh, I, I do think that psychedelics can be the kind of stressful event that contributes to uh, the emergence of, um, I don't know, if potentially it will, uh, certainly a psychotic reaction, potentially even a psychotic um, disorder. But I would say that this is still an under, understudied, under, mis, uh, un, not well understood area. The other piece of this that I think is important to work with is that um, sometimes people, clinicians, not just people, but clinicians can um, have a very, um, they can be quick to jump to psychosis as a outcome of a psychedelic experience. And because sometimes people may become not religiously preoccupied, but suddenly have a sudden interest in spirituality, dramatic change in the way they dress. I mean, there are things that can be rapid shifts and Sometimes the, the differential there can be, differential diagnosis can be um, challenging. And there's some papers that have been published on this that I think are quite good. Um, again, I think that most, I hope that most clinicians can kind of tell the difference between a spiritual experience um, and a healthy kind of um, shift and a, and a pathological one, but sometimes it's not so easy to tell the difference between the two. Oh, 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 oh,